Any last words? I mean, <laughs> uh... <laughs>Hey guys how's it going uh, we just wanted to do a quick video and kind of introduce ourselves and give you a little background on what we got going on so this is my wife Kinsey Lefever I'm Joel Lefever and this is our dog Otto you guys have seen him in a couple of the videos um, shop dog. he's he's the auto shop dog so <laughs> <laughs> anyways right now the project that we're working on is one that we're building for Kinsey she likes to go on rides and stuff in my rat rod, but wants something that she can drive around town. Oh, I enjoy riding the shotgun passenger rider, but might be fun to be in the driver's seat every once and again. Yeah, the, the 28 Chevy truck that you guys have seen in the videos, uh, it can be a little bit complicated to drive. If you're not used to driving, but it's fun to ride like along that. in. Yeah, it's it's really fun. So we enjoy driving it around, cruising around town and stuff. But we're gonna get Kinsey something that she can go pick the kids up from school in, or go get groceries, or you know, do the the cruise night thing. So that's the goal with this with this truck is to get her something reliable to drive, and it's gonna be something fun that. She can just hop in and go, so. Uh, Looks like you're wearing some nice merch. I am wearing some nice merch right <laughs> here. So basically, you know, our goal is to be able to do this and create good content and be able to have fun and get some projects done. So um, part of that is obviously getting the the likes and the subscribes and stuff. So. Right now, I don't have any uh, any sort of website or shop set up for merchandise yet. But as you can see, I do have some shirts and I have the ability to get some more. So basically what I'm going to ask is if you guys can like and share and um, do that. We'd like to uh, set a goal of getting uh, 500 subscribers. Uh, I think we're we're about 300 right now, I think, if I remember right. Um, but it, when we reach 500, I want to just select a, a random couple people from the subscriber list and send them some shirts and then also uh, probably some stickers. So uh, just to get get that going would be awesome. Um, so I got... I got a, a handful of shirts made before I left to go on the road trip. Um, I gave a couple of them to some people while I was down there and I kept two for myself because I thought, well, maybe I need to be wearing something with, uh, you know, try to look official. And I'm not like a gold bracelet necklace type kind of guy. So I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted something to, to kind of look official in, in the videos, but um, in the future we will be setting up a website and a store to buy some merchandise on. In the meantime, um, you know, as we're trying to grow the channel, get more viewers, you know, we're, we're going to be working on getting as many videos out as we can right now. Uh, you guys know like we're we're normal people just like you work is busy trying to do this plus a full-time job and raise kids and everything so anyways we're trying to do the best we can for now um i've never edited a video in my life until i started doing this it's there's a big there's a big learning curve um but we'd like to we'd like to grow the channel and with you guys uh hitting that like button that probably does the more likes you get, the more YouTube recommends those videos to other people. Um, so, biggest help really is hitting that like button and then there's a little logo thing. I think it's down in this corner. Um, if you click on that, then that'll, that'll link you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. So, um, if you guys wouldn't mind doing, doing those few things and then 
feel free to drop a comment, ask a question, even if it's not video related. I'll I'll try to get through the comments and and answer. Um, I'd like to build feel like I build a relationship with you guys, and you know, if you got any questions or any advice or whatever, um, I'm always open to learn stuff. So, so do you have anything else? No, just super grateful for all your guys' support. So there there is one one comment that I read that said, uh, what the heck happened? How did you wreck your car? Like stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I trusted that a guy driving a semi truck with the point of view that's probably eight feet taller than me could see farther down the road than I could. And I'm not putting any blame on him. He, we, we weren't going super fast. I don't feel like, um, but you know, I, I trusted, you know, he, he turned on his blinker and waved me around and I trusted that I could get around it as I started to pass him, um, over the crest of the hill and around the corner coming up. I seen the top of another semi coming up the hill towards us. Um, the, the truck that I was passing, he hit his brakes. I hit my brakes, um, so I wasn't able to drop back behind him as much as I wanted to, and so I got on the brakes a little bit more, and that's when the back end broke loose. Um, there was a lot of road grime, a lot of sand and stuff there from, you know, the snow plows and all that stuff, and and that was the the thing that made the back end come around. Luckily, I went to the left and not to the right. Um, there was a lot of a lot of things that could have went differently, but I'm glad that they didn't. And so we've learned from those mistakes. You know, I, I had no reason to really be in a rush. Um, so just, you know, things happen. So anyways, that's, that's the story behind it. So I'll, uh, maybe throw in a little bit longer clip and maybe you can see what happened in this video. We got, we got uh, <laughs> the rear end of her truck and the seat of her truck made into a little couch. Tell us what your hopes and dreams are for your truck. Um, I want it to be my little get around. I want to be able to drive it to go uptown. I want to be able to take the kids for a ride, maybe pick them up from school. I want it to be uh, kind of a daily driver, eventually. Eventually? We better get to work. <laughs> Sooner rather than later. <laughs> I think when we get it done, you get to choose where we go on a road trip. That sounds great. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe you can do it sooner rather than later. <laughs> We've done it before. I think we can do it. Well, Any last words? I mean, uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll never get me to talk again. Any final <laughs> sayings you'd like to add? No. Where did we get your truck from? Um, we got it from Lou Wyman. Lou Wyman. Wyman. Yep. <laughs> Lou Wyman. The Wyman, Wyman Museum in Craig, Colorado. Yep. He's a really cool dude. He knows a lot of local history from around there. And his uh, museum is really cool. His museum is really cool. That's actually, he's actually the same guy that we bought um, all the parts to build well, not all the parts, but most of the parts to build the rat rod truck, the build-off truck that is in the road trip video. So um, when we went to pick that truck up, somebody spied this truck and said, 
oh, that's cute. I did. Right? It and is. so, and so, uh, after we won the build off competition, I had a little bit of cash burning a hole in my pocket. So, he took me out and bought me something real nice. We loaded up the truck <laughs> and the trailer and went back over and, uh, picked her this up so it's been sitting out in our driveway for what about a year yeah about a year year and a half and i've been tinkering on it here and there um but it's time to buckle down and get it done so we need okay. to get this done we need to get this done and we got some more projects and i'm sure some other things will slip in in the mix and it'll it'll be old with some some bells and whistles. Yeah. Some things yeah. that I <laughs> that I would like in she my thinks, old truck. She thinks that she needs power steering. I do. Air conditioning. I would like. Heater. Uh, a radio. Wow. Well, I want the cute. I want the a cute. soft seat. <laughs> I want. I want the spare tire on the side. She want. Yeah. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm willing to give her. Pretty much all of her wish list, except maybe the spare tire on the side. I don't I know. I think we'll I see. requested he the heater before I requested the air conditioner. Yeah, that because that's easy to do. It had a heater box in it, so. But power steering. Yep. Power steering. It'll get power <laughs> steering because I went and bought the Mustang 2 kit for it, and it comes with a power rack and you steering. You want power so. steering, too, eventually. We're going to put power steering in the crew cab Dodge. It's going to be nice. And then we're going to go on a road trip in it, too. Not like the maiden voyage that we took the trailer it's down. It's probably going to get... I would like <laughs> to put a new motor in it. Redo, completely redo the whole front suspension. Add power steering. I don't know. Redo the exhaust. So put, it's like... It's a pretty good overhaul that I have planned for that one, too. We, we got to get our motor in ours before Robbie gets his and his. Are we, is it going to be a competition? No. <laughs> Robbie's a long ways off before he gets his crew cab come and swapped. It's <laughs> cab still sitting on the ground. I know. <laughs> Stay tuned because we got lots of exciting stuff coming down the pipeline. Like I said, working on website for merchandise. I'd like to get some shirts and hats and, and uh, some stickers and stuff going. So glad you're here. Um, once we hit that 500 subscriber mark, I want to start, I want to give away a couple shirts and some stickers and stuff. So share it with your friends, hit that like button, um, and we'll get, we'll get to there and get some lucky people, uh, a shirt and some stickers. So that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we got. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. Thanks. <laughs>